Hi guys, welcome to Favors Blog, your one-stop channel for amazing entertainment like no other. Trust me, you're going to enjoy your time here. To be part of this amazing family, please follow us on all our social media accounts displayed on your screen right now. And do not forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you're one of the first persons to get notified whenever we drop any new video. Also, do not forget to like our videos and of course share them across your social media handles so that your friends and family will also be part of this amazing family here on Favors Blog. Now let's dive right in to what we have. My correct person there, I welcome you to Open Heavens Daily Devotional for Thursday will be the 16th of February 2023. Our topic for today say, You Day Above Angels. Our Bible reading, it will come from the book of Hebrews chapter 1 from verse 13 to verse 14. Hebrews chapter 1 from verse 13 to verse 14. Our memory verse, they come from Hebrews chapter 1, verse 14, where it was saying, Are they not all ministry spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation? Mark we enter our main message. Psalm 91 from verse 11 to 12 tell us, say, The Lord will command the angel, making them carry you for their hands. Hebrews chapter 1 from verse 13 to 14 tell us say angels na spirit where they minister to us that is they are sent by God to serve those who will be children when people they ask me say daddy why you they travel alone for night you know no say it is dangerous I they tell them say I get my own bodyguards only say not but with your ordinary eyes could you see two big big fellows they will be like say only one they enough to deal with any amount of persons we can confront me. Their names now goodness and mercy. According to Psalm 23, verse 6, it says, Goodness and mercy go follow you all the days of your life. The first time when you go see angel, you go there afraid though, because they are very, very big, but they also they very powerful. They get plenty power, so they want angel to move 185,000 soldiers for inside one night. We see this over 2 Kings chapter 19, verse 35. Whether you believe him or not, the day when you decide, say you won't become born again. God assigned one of these big and powerful angels to you, make it follow you anywhere where you they go, and make it do anything where you tell her to do. As long as that thing you want is they in line with the will of God. Anytime when your enemies still say they don't get you down, your angel will come for middle of night to save you. Acts chapter 5, verse 17 to 25, and Acts chapter 12, from verse 5 to 11, nice show us this one. But you must understand, say, even as the angels they assign to serve you, you still need to tell them what it will do before they will feed you. Although they are subject to God's instruction, no. so to instruct them, you must tell them God's word back and front, and they go obey sharp, sharp. For example, God already told say they go carry you so that you no go use your leg till next stone. For inside Psalm ninety-one verse twelve, this one means say you go fit tell God may command them to clear any kind of accident from your road when you want travel. God also told say if your enemies gather against you for one way, they go fly for seven different ways. Deuteronomy 28, verse 7. So you go feel tell God to command the angels to scatter the camp of your enemies. Although, Sha, you must understand, say, God's word only get power for inside the mouth of his children. If you never born again, angels no go feel obey you. Rather, they go they walk against you. If it is a delay, Go ask Balaam for inside Numbers chapter 22 from verse 21 to 35. Our reflection for today talks say, Angels they assigned to serve the heirs of salvation. You be one of them. Now Pastor E.A. Adeboye will be the general overseer of the redeemed Christian Church of God. Now him they write this open heavens daily devotional. God bless you.